Chapter 4. Can't get enough of social distancing. Eye of the Tiger King. Wuhan is returning to life. And so are its wet markets. They even have a petting zoo now. They hired the Tiger King on the cheap to manage the petting zoo from jail through Zoom. The redneck Trump. The Tiger King is the redneck Trump. I like the Tiger King until his boy toy blew his brains out because living off dirt bikes, free weed, and ass munching alone wasn't enough. It's not like he was under contract with Universal like Rock Hudson either. Ares enters a Greek spa. Wearing a mask in your car is like the God of War Ares wearing his battle armor at the local spa for a spritz because he didn't want any of Socrates' fluffers in there to see he was a raging homo underneath his tunic night dress. Lego stores post-corona are off the list. How can I be transphobic if I'd rather suck off Bruce Jenner with no makeup on and be forced to swallow every last demon drop then have to go into the Lego store again to buy a Harry Potter Lego set after the coast was clear with my three kids' faces all covered, including my own, which made me feel like Michael Jackson on holiday in Dubai after magic made HIV disappear. Can I get a holla for Gen X parents understand for more mouthfuls of A-plus studded Gemry for your auditory consuming pleasure. You're welcome. Holla. Thank you very much. Don't put China in a corner. CNN isn't China's bitch. You should read how they write about the wet markets in Wuhan. Wuhan. You'd think it was a gushing review from an elite reviewer on Yelp about the farmer's market at the Grove in West Hollywood. The journalist for CNN.com gushes. Where else can you get chicken and pork at such affordable prices? Plus, porcupines are only sold for medicine. Ever heard of acupuncture? MAGA country? Stupid! So stupid! Weird Al slash UHF lives. Holla. Thank you very much. Bad shit crazy. Pelosi sent the Chinese bat into our home to take me out for insisting on Twitter how the Chinese Communist Party has resisted investigations into the source behind the coronavirus more than Aquafresh. My wife insisted we get vaccine shots for ourselves and our three children to prevent us from getting Chinese corona rabies from the bat just breathing dead dog on us in our sleep. Joe lives! Holla! Thank you very much! Twitter ban for the last time! Twitter suspended me permanently for causing social unrest. All I did was post a video link of me barebacking a Shetland pony in North Salem, New York. I even let the horse shoot a huge load in my face with no mask on to prove with my Bill Gates issued coronavirus vaccine shot. I'm more likely to die from being a Wuhan lab truther on Tucker Carlson. Can I get a holla for preaching the gospel long time? For being a fearless nonconformist? Holla. Thank you very much. Doxing the New York Times. What's so depressing about social distancing? You realize what pieces of shit the media are in real time? Because they call 
federal agents called in to restore law and order in Portlandia? Nazis? Sure. And if federal agents for the FBI, DEA, and the U.S. Marshals were real-life Nazis, the New York Times would dox their Swiss bank accounts and summer holiday retreats in Argentina in a New York Minute. Year of the Four-Eyed Snake. According to the Chinese calendar, Bill Gates was born during the year of the Four-Eyed Snake. His spirit animal can inhale an entire pea protein farm in one bite without getting any vegan mayo on his sweater. Bill Gates defending China on Bloomberg. This is Bill Gates praising China's response to the coronavirus on Bloomberg. Bill Gates says, it's not China's fault. America was dumb enough to believe their Chinese Ministry of Truth after he insisted the coronavirus was only transferable if Count Chocula were to pop out of your cereal box and suck your blood. Holla. Thank you very much. Fake news friends reveals. Social distancing has revealed what again? We weren't that close to our younger siblings to begin with. Mom and dad weren't going to visit till the end of summer anyway. Your fake news friends aren't classy enough to offer a token of love for your nurse wife on the front lines of death in New York. Disney bought Fox because the coronavirus has cost Walt Disney $1.4 billion. But they bought Fox so they'd be discouraged to do hard-hitting investigative pieces on Jeffrey Epstein's ties to Rapewood and his underage sex slaves giving pedicures to Matt Groening's gnarly-looking toenails on the Lead Express without a face mask on to ensure his sex slave manicurist will be forced to act extra animated about it. Spitting on coronavirus plague graves. A gay porn star broke coronavirus lockdown rules by attending a gay bash at some loft in Manhattan. And he filmed the entire foray on Instagram. Spitting on his hand before stroking up the DJ for playing Donna Summers on the radio doesn't count as washing your hands either. Divorce immunity during Corona. Daughter says, I looked at mama's phone and saw that she has Google if she should divorce her unemployed husband. I say, you kids name your special jumps into the pool based on chapter titles from my books like Best Bud Sarah Silverman Never Had, Splash, Children or Family Upgrades, Whoosh, Wishing My Son's Birthday, Never blows. Holla! So it's not as if you kids are clamoring to tell a divorce court how much you want me out of your life already. Besides, haven't you ever heard of divorce immunity during Corona? Can I get a holla for an A-plus catchphrase? You're not going to hear on Jimmy Kimmel. Holla! Thank you very much! Resisting unsolicited parenting advice. I hate women who give me unsolicited advice whenever I'm out in public with my three kids because they're being passive-aggressive buzzkills who never get anyone high off their presence alone ever. I'm in the process of putting a mask on my three-year-old before entering a fancy cheese shop in the burbs because I'm grooming shishi bitches on the rise. And I hear, the mask is covering his eyes. I blurt out, don't act like you're a must-see star attraction all of a sudden, babe. I've been entertaining three kids for three summers in a row with no centralized AC or virtual grandparents in sight. I'm loving almost every second of it. So when your blob brain hubby starts to outshine you in the parenting department, it means you're more annoying cunt than you give yourself credit for, babe. If you had big tits, it would at least soften the blow of you trying to 
categorize me as a bumbling jerk-off putz who can't tell whether he's getting his son ready to enter a store post-corona for an overpriced grilled cheese or gooey gruyere or for a pinata smack-off in the barrio for my white privileged seed because their father doesn't treat them like a shameful, resurgent, herpes sore on the spot who constantly runs off to his hack golf buds as deep as the 18th hole whenever he likes or just abandons his kids altogether with the baby mama because he's got fresher snatch to spew into next, which trumps being in a position to do cartwheels into his kids' hearts, which matters most, unless you want to be responsible for birthing another kid stuck in an endless cycle of violence or drugs to rebel against a chillingly indifferent world that never gave them a fighting chance to become somebody to believe in. Yeah. Yeah.